Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And yes, at this portion of the video, I have got the cards in my hand. Um, and I suppose you could call this uh, Overkill 3D because basically what I've done is I've got all of my uh, 6950, 7950, sorry. And before you start asking me and saying that this card here is a uh, 7970, if you have a look, that's two six pins, not a six and an eight. It is uh, a reference, like an early design uh, 7950 that I got sent, but that's four 7950s in. We've got an i7-2011, uh, and it's the 3960X, running at 4.8 gigahertz. Corsair GTX RAM, GTX 8 RAM, sorry, running at 2133. It should be 2400, but my CPU won't hold it there. We've got that running there. H100 with Noctua NF-F12 focus flow fans. And then we've got two AX1200 watts because uh, one AX1200 watt hasn't got enough um, PCI Express power connectors for the graphics cards. So I'm running um, the first two cards off of the main system one and the second two cards running off of the slave power supply. Um, yeah, sorry for having it in my hand. But uh, I'm going to uh, let you, well, we'll just get on with it, basically. No point in me going on about it anymore. Let's just crack on with the benchmarks and see what ridiculous numbers that we can get. One thing that I will say is I'm running all these tests overclocked. Uh, with the first video I did with the 7970s, I couldn't overclock them because of the ULC or whatever it's called, where it turns the three bottom cards off. I've now managed to get a way around that. Um, so I've managed to overclock these so and I've already done some tests so I know these cards are about to be our best scores so uh, let's just stop me yabbling and I'll crack on with it right then guys 3D Mark 11 P score. Now, uh, one thing I will say is, uh, don't forget, I didn't manage to get the cards overclocked on the uh, 7970s. So, but I have done with the 7950s. So we've just broke our best ever score in 3D Mark 11 P. We've now got 23,000 on the P score, and that's because all the cards run at 1,020 on the uh, core and 1400 on the uh, memory um, that may seem lower but it's basically just finding the the sweet box obviously they're all different cards one of the cards I know only did 1050 but adding all the heat then because of you know where they're placed on the uh, board and everything and this is the best I've managed to get um, but anyway what I'm gonna do is now crack on and we'll see what we can get with an X score Right then guys, on to an X score, which many people will be more than proud of as a P score. We've got a 3D Mark 11 X score of 10,230. God, I love these cards in Quadfire. I know they're only good for like benchmarking and stuff, but hey, we're getting results now with four overclock 7950s better than four overclock 7970s. And dear God, does it make me want to go back and mess about to be able to overclock the 7970s. Right, I'm going to shut my mouth, or rather I should say I'm going to shut my grinning mouth because I'm smiling from ear to ear, and I'm going to move on and do some 3D Mark Vantage benchmarks. Right then guys, on to 3D Mark Vantage. We've got a P score of 62,559. CPU score is 46,415, but the GPU score is 70,762. So, believe it or not, even with an overclock 2011, it looks like the results are being held back by the CPU. Now, we've got to remember that's because it's offloading all the physics onto the CPU, so that's why. Um, but anyway, still a monstrous score of 62,559. Let's see uh, how much difference it makes when we stick it into X mode. Right then, guys, on to uh, 3D Mark Vantage X score. 47,439. And if you have a look, if I move the mouse out of the way a little bit, you can see that the scores are a lot more even now. 47,381 CPU score, 47,442 on the GPU score. 
So we can kind of even, like I said, come to the conclusion that uh, with this benchmark at least, with the P-score, it was being slightly limited by the CPU, as mad as that sounds. Um, but anyway, uh, time really now to crack on with some Unigen. Not long. Hang on. Right then guys, yes you can hear crazy fans in the background but that's because I've got a delta on top of the cards to help keep the temperatures down and keep things uh, a little bit more stable because obviously they're right up against each other. Um, but frames per second, 237.9 then we've got a score of 5,992. So absolutely bonker scores, that's obviously just an open and run result so nothing's turned up or anything like that. Literally is just to see what we could do uh, do you know what I mean, if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the benchmarks here, and uh, yeah, that's the last of it. So really, it's time to have a bit of a conclusion. Right guys, on to a conclusion. Believe it or not, I've done this very, very last minute on the day stroke night, as it is, before the NDA. I should really turn my light around a little bit more, so at least you can see a bit more of my face, even though you're not going to want to. But yes, so it's right at the last minute of the day before the NDA. I've literally put all the cards in so that we could just run these tests quickly for you, uh, just to see what's possible. It isn't meant to be a, do you know what I mean? You'd want to go out and buy this. To be perfectly honest with you, you wouldn't want more than two. But it's just a case of us showing you, do you know what I mean? We've done this because we can more than anything else. Yes, it's overkill. Hey, we're overclock 3D. So maybe we should start calling ourselves overkill 3D. Um, but the scores are all nuts. These have beaten four 7970s at stock. So now, yes, I do need to go back. Now I've got a way around everything to do overclocked 7970s to see how much further we can push everything. Um, but I just thought that all the regular subscribers and the fans on Facebook and the forum members and stuff would like to see what we could do possible. But the fact that we've seen 23,000 in 3D Mark 11 for a P-score is just nuts. Um, yet again, we were seeing that we were hitting the limits of the CPU uh, with Vantage uh, because obviously the uh, X-score made a lot more sense than the P-score. You could see that the graphics cards were being held back, which in itself is complete lunacy. Um, obviously massive scores again with Unigen. I know it's been a short video, but like I said, it's real last minute here. I really need to go and get some sleep because I've got to be up at five to actually sort the NDA out for tomorrow morning. But this is Tiny Tom Logan with another Because I Could video for you, out. <laughs>